they just they just don't like us. <laughs> Them companies, because you know I had this plan because as you know I got stuck here in the in in the good old USA, and I live in South Africa, and so usually when I come up I'm only here for like a month or two, so I get this plan this monthly I just get a month plan because they have special like tourists whatever it is. Okay, but now the COVID got me stuck here, right? And so what I have to do is I got to get another plan. But they didn't tell me that because this plan, when after half the month goes, then it starts slowing down. So that's why I've been having a lot of problems. So now I'm, today I get to find out if I can. Uh, don't worry about that part. What 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 are, what are we reading today the, the, on that one year? Okay. One year. I'll be glad to share that with you. Let's see. Please do. Let's see. We started. Um, What's today? The the. The yeah, 18th. 18th. Yeah. Start a new book in the Old Testament, the book of Esther. This is what happened during the time of Xerxes. The Xerxes who ruled over 127 provinces stretching from India to Kush. India to Kush. Ooh, that's a, oh, okay. yeah. Wait a minute. That's India or going up and Kush. Now, Kush would be Africa, so it comes yeah. down to Africa. Yeah, that's a huge... Uh, Huge expanse, Oof. and uh, so that's that's the story of Esther, and then uh, we've got First Corinthians 11, in the following directives: I have no praise for you, for your meetings do more harm than good. Oh, <laughs> oh boy! Now you know why a lot of people don't even want to go to meetings. Forget the praise. They, they're just, they're, I think most people. <laughs> I think most people just hear the second part. <laughs> they, don't yeah. care about, they don't care about the first part. Yeah, I've heard, you know, I've heard many people say that um, meetings are a waste of time, but, but, uh, but they have to be, uh, I guess, in organizations, you have to have meetings. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if, if nothing else, just to, right. just to see, who, you know, see who's hanging out with you. you know? Right, right. Wow. So, uh, and then he goes on, and then he gets Psalm 35, Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my life from more ravages, my precious life from these lions. So, uh, well, I don't know, you know, in this day and age, I don't know about that one. Sometimes, you know why? Because everybody's waiting for somebody to save them. That sounds like, you know, you're waiting. I know it's an outside force or whatever, but I'm just trying to say if you... I mean, when I was traveling to Mexico, there's this thing. They, they have this saying. You can get up in the morning and you can run around all day to find, you know, because you have to do something. You can run around all day to, to, to find something. Or you can just sit by the curbside and by the end of the day, you'll find what you're looking for. But either way, you can really hustle. I guess that's what they're saying. Or you just, I don't know, not do anything. They say it's going to come to the same thing. So I don't, I'm, I'm, that's what brings to mind when I hear that. But I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, what, you it's like you, you're saying, I'm not going to do anything until somebody helps me? Or what, what does that mean for, for yeah. you? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Sometimes we have to, um, Sometimes we have to reject passivity and uh, we have to do something in uh, our own behalf or in the behalf of someone else. Mm -hmm. We have to take some action. That's what, uh, that's what life is about. And if we uh, sit there and wait for someone to, some, uh, to be rescued or to wait for help, sometimes we may be uh, waiting forever. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, this makes me think. That's what I don't know. There was a there was a play about that. Uh, it's called Waiting for Godot. Waiting for Godot. Yeah, I know that play. You know that play? Oh, I have a history on that play. Oh, really? I mean, when I say I know the play, I mean you well, know tell, I, had, I, had, I had to study it in school. Well, I didn't study that. We well, look. Here's the thing. Okay, here's 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 why I know about that play. Because you know I'm a, I'm 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 a, what's called audio dramatist, which, which I have to deal with writing, you know, with plays and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm, I, went, I went to school for playwriting. That, that, that had nothing to do with it. 
But good, the good guy, for you. You're, yeah. you're an educated man. No, well, yeah, I've been around educated. I'm educated because I do my own reading. That's how I do. And I li- and I I talk to people mm-hmm. like I talk to you, like mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Yes. But here's the story: the guy that wrote the thing, I forgot. Damn, I forgot the guy's 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 name. Waiting for Godot by, or whatever the guy's name is. I think he was an Irish guy, something like that, up there in England. Some Irish. I think he was Irish. Well, for years they would. For years, you know, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't say anything. People would do the play, do the play, and they said, "What does this mean? What does this play mean? What does this play mean?" And something like 20 years after the play has been done, finally, he, he, directed his own play. Uh-huh. Now, you see, the, the way the way we do it in theater, a lot of people don't want. Everybody wants to be some sort of, I don't know, auteur. You know, that's a big word. I don't know what that means. You know, they want want to be like they want to be the Renaissance person. They want to do everything. But in theater, what's supposed to happen when you're a playwright, you're supposed to let your, you're supposed to let the director and the actors do your play, and you watch and you just help you know you just make your little adjustments. You're not supposed uh-huh. to write the play and then and then um, produce the play and also you know direct the play because you don't get any of the perspective. So all this time when 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 um, what's that guy's name? I should look him up. Um, all this time, I'm looking up on the I phone. All, so all this time, you know, all these people doing a play, what's this about, what's this about? And then finally, he directs the play, and it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so so that, that's really what happened. You know, he, when he finally directed this play, they, they knew what it, was, what it was about. All the time, it's a, in fact, it's a brilliant thing to do, like, but to do it that way. Uh, because then, you know, you, you, you get all this perspective they're waiting for the door. Samuel Beckett, that's the guy. Yeah. Good for you. Hey, that's me. You got a good memory. No, they call it a smartphone for a reason. <laughs> it's not my memory, it's this phone thing. This thing. <laughs> so Samuel Beckett finally, you know, directs his own play. But now here's but, but even before that happened, what it really is, it's a it's a um because remember when he wrote it, I think he wrote it in the fifties or something like that. You know. But it was it's really about it's like a vaudeville play, like a vaudeville act. I, I, I can't really explain how he, how, how I got it. Anyway, that's enough. I just I'm just saying that I hear I hear what you mean. Waiting for Godot. And yeah, they were just waiting. Yeah. Some people think it meant waiting for God, blah blah. But actually, I guess waiting for something to happen. Yeah. Which I guess yeah. is the same thing when we go back to what we just said in, the, yeah. the, in that Corinthians yeah. thing, right? With, with, you know? Yeah. Or with, with, no, that's the Psalms. You just where did we get that from? Was that Psalm? Oh, my memory Psalm. Goes, how yeah. long will you look at rescue my life? from their ravages, my precious life from these lions. So, uh, you know, the, uh, if, it, if David wrote this psalm, I think it may be a psalm of David. He's he's asking for help, and, uh, yeah, asking for help from the Lord. But I don't, what was go back to that, to the Corinthians one, right, right before that, mm-hmm. the, the, that's the new, what did that first say? Oh, in following directives, I have no praise for you. Oh, okay, your no. meetings do more harm uh, than good. Okay. Well, actually, actually that sort of relates to me. <laughs> <laughs> They're waiting for a meeting to happen. It's, just, it's not happening. Right. Okay, well, right. Do we got one more thing there. Yeah. The final thing is Proverbs. Better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and ill-tempered wife. Oh, now that's cold. That's not, oh, come on, somebody was telling them, that's a joke. No, I, 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 oh, they, was, they had jokes back then. Yeah, I think so. To be, uh, uh, you know, we have to have uh, some levity sometimes. Well, I'm just saying. I can see. The, I can see all the, the Christians and the well, not, I guess that's the, the, well, that was Christians, Hebrews, whatever. They, they all were hanging around. They say, "Got a joke? It's better to be in the desert than to be." <laughs> and then the women go back. Oh, you got jokes? We got a joke. And then the women they come. They come and they say a joke. You know that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, hey, did you notice, Ron? Look, I got a new T-shirt. Come on, what does it say? Because I can't read upside down. What does it say? Okay, if you have the means at hand, you have the responsibility to act. Very good. That's right. And it's, what's the rule, right? It's a rule, and the rule point, point three zero three. Yeah, that's a, well, that sounds good. If you have the means at hand, you have the responsibility to act. It's like, uh, you know, say, uh, you know, if, uh, if someone does a, a job for you at the... 
at the end of the day, you should pay him for that job, not, not put him off and, and make him wait for later. You think so? This is guy, my guy, Bo of the Fifth Column, it says? Bo yeah. of the Fifth Column? I don't think that's what Bo means. I think... <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that, that's your interpretation. No, no, your interpretation is good. I, I'll go with your interpretation. No, I'm not, I'm not, I think what he means is that if, if, you can, if, you, if you can do something, make, you know, uh, let's say make the world a better place, well, you can't just sit by. you got to go and make the world a better place. Right. You know? Right. I mean, I just, I, you fact, know. Uh, one of my classmates said uh, uh, when in high school, he, in our kind of a book of, of uh, reminiscence, I guess he said, "Are you doing the best you can with what you have to work with? Because that's all we can do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doing the best you can with what we have to work with." And now the corollary is, of course, uh, we can't give what we don't have. Well, there you go. <laughs> but, 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 but uh, yeah. But I mean, I wouldn't. That wouldn't even cross my mind. I guess if you. I think if you if you do the best you can with what you have, mm -hmm. and it, and it, and you do it really well, then at the end you should have a, some kind of abundance. I mean, you should. Yeah. You, in other words, if you're going to do the job, then at the end you you you, know, you do the job so well that you learn some stuff. Plus, you sort of have like a surplus, an excess. You, you do. I, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm how am I saying this? But anyway, so if you have that excess. It's an excess, so you got to do something with it. So you, you know, you help somebody else along, or you, or if you learn something, then you, like you, well, I don't want to say teach, but you know, you, yeah, you teach, but you learn that yeah. kind of thing. Oh well, yeah, I think uh, sure, uh, men. Uh, Big job. Uh, we, we learn while we teach. Yeah, we that's learn right. while we teach. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Right. Oh no. These are some good readings today. Oh uh, yes. I like these readings yeah. today. Yeah. You know. Waiting for the. What other plays did you hear? Because I'm a play. I can. I can do plays. Well, some plays. I just have a lot of modern plays. I just am not really into. But what? Mm -hmm. Whatever the waiting for. Did you see the waiting for Godot? Did you see that play? Yes. Yes. Yeah, what did you think of it? I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. But what did you think of it? I mean, that's kind of a weird play. I'm, I'm saying it's weird. What, what, was it weird to you? Or did you understand it perfectly? No, no, I, I, I didn't understand it. It was <laughs> kind of evocative. Uh, <laughs> it, it was interesting. I mean, they were, they were waiting for something. And I guess they, uh, they, they had uh, certain experiences while they were waiting. So... Uh, Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that part. Huh? Well, what, 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 was was it just a school play? What, what, no, what that, was, that was. Um, I saw that years ago when I was uh, going to, to church with my grandfather, and mm -hmm. I forget how we got involved in that, but we did get to see that. But it was Waiting. a church a church play? I'm not sure. You know. Um, huh. Well, how old? Anthony, were you? My my memory my memory many years back is. It's not perfect, I must confess. Oh, you're so. not supposed to have perfect memory. You think your memory is shot? Oh, oh please. Hey, dude, <laughs> let's not talk about, I can't even remember that I don't remember. That's just how bad I am. <laughs> one, of, one of the things that pleases me these days is um, when, I, when I go into a room and then I remember why I came into that room. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Okay, let me think about this. <laughs> okay, oh, you're right. No, I've had that experience. I go someplace, and I'm all the way in. Then I back up. I just go back out. Like I don't know why I was here. Then I go back out. Then I remember why I was gone in there. Then, then, then I go back in. Yes, there you go. I think it's just a form of. Is this the form where old people exercise because, because yeah. we won't we won't exercise otherwise. <laughs> exercise our memory. All right, very good. So what you got on the agenda today? What's going on? Well, uh, my 
my wife is coming home from her trip today, so I'm looking forward to see her. Uh -huh. And I might, uh, I cut the front yard yesterday, so I might cut the backyard today. I think I will. Cut the oh, backyard. do you ride on one of those things? Uh, I did when I was younger, but now I have a, I have a self-propelled mower that I, I walk behind. I have to walk Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, you, wouldn't you call yourself a modern man then? Well, I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was being polite. I was being polite. I shouldn't tell you because then you'd be, you know, okay, I, I was being polite. That was just me way of me saying, <laughs> that was way of me saying, oh, are you lazy? Oh. Back when you, when you had to, oh, sure, oh, sure. <laughs> oh you know, I remember, um, it's interesting you, you mentioned that, uh, I remember years ago when my, my grandfather had a man, uh, helping him. He, he built his own house out in, uh, out in, uh, on Litzinger Road, not himself, but he and the man that he hired built his house together. And also the man helped him with the yard. And I remember he had what they call a real mower that you, you ever heard? A push mower. Yeah, yeah, you know, oh yeah, yeah, spin. that's what I was talking yeah. about, yeah. Yeah, and I I can remember the sound of that still. He pushed it and then mm -hmm. it would stop and push again. And, and uh, that was, that took some muscle power to cut a yard yeah. like that. But, uh, well, at least that's some help. Talk about theater. You know, when I was in when I uh, well in New York when I was when I was in theater, and um, uh, me and this guy and another guy we built a theater. We built a small theater wow. down there on uh, Avenue uh, Avenue A and Seventh uh, Street. We we built we built a small a small theater. Mm -hmm. You know, big actually was uh, John Harris Jr. My, I love John Harris Jr. Man, I wonder where he is today. I don't do Facebook, so I can't look these people up. And a guy called Big John. Big John was a carpenter. John Harris Jr. was like a, he was like an architect. He like a, a set builder, he costume wow. sets and like that. And of course, I'm just a helper. Well, that's not true. I'm sort of like, I'm you like the influence. The that's great. Uh, yeah, yeah did, a little did, theater. Did you make a play? Did oh, yeah, do? we made plays. We made but, plays. What's a, what's a play that you, well, these, what these, play have you enjoyed uh, Well, these plays doing. you wouldn't know. There, there's a, there's a, there was a black, or there's a play called uh, Waiting for Miss Janie. By this famous uh, black playwright called Ed Bullen. I shouldn't say black playwright, just playwright Ed Bullen. Okay. We, we did that there, and then actually years later, what happened? That same theater, uh, I, when I was, uh, we had a group. I had a, well, I was, I was the, uh, I was the engineer for this group called. Uh, oh man, was uh, it was a poet, uh, Martha, a DJ, right, and uh, just like a hostess, I guess she was, you know. Kind of, Call a call a queen. So anyway, um, we we would put on these. Um, it's called listen and be heard. And what it was well, like, uh, you know, we'd have a, a an event. Well, it's a weekly event. So what happened is we would we would um, recruit people from the audience, right? Yeah. And do this like a like a soap opera. It was ongoing soap opera. It's a space woman and Earth woman, something like that. And so these so these two these two women, they would be Earth woman, space women, and and every week, like new characters would come in, the same old character, but people would recruit them for the audience. They would play the characters, and these people would write the play. They'd play the characters, and then so we had the, the we'd have the um, what do you call it? the audio drama, you know, that little play, little skit, uh -huh. and then, and then we recruit from the audience. So we had audience participation. They'd be part of the skit, and then we have like a feature poet that would be there, you know, this one a good poet, right? Yeah. And then we have an open session, so anybody could do the poetry. It was quite, it, was, it lasted for about three years, I think it did. Yeah, it was really, really, it was really good. Gina Hopper does a thing called Liquid Sound Lounge. And um, uh, Martha uh, Senator, she, she was a poet, and like a you know, performer. Uh, and a queen, we call her Queen Charlotte. Queen Charlotte, she, uh, she was like the, I don't know, the door person, the host, the, you know, the, like the, like the, I won't say Mercy D, but you know, somebody that, that greeted her or something like that. Uh -huh. And I was the engineer. Well, good for you. you. Like that, we call it like that. It was really good. Good for you. That's an interesting, uh, interesting experience. Yeah. I was wondering. So you always enjoy the theater, I take it. Oh, man, I was in theater since I was 17. I love theater. I had I had a little waylay, you know. My, I, I don't do the, I love theater so much that I don't do it. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but but I just don't do it. But, but I, but, you know, I'm grateful. Theater, theater trained me. Well, I was oh. trained by the cadet corps and theater. I'm, I'm like military trained and theater trained. Two opposite. <laughs> two. Well, it takes a lot of discipline for both of them. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. people don't understand. Sometimes people run away to theater. They think it's easy, but it's not as easy as it looks. Oh no, I'm sure it's not. But you know that same group that we 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 we, we did a uh, we did a show in Edinburgh, Scotland. I did, um, I directed the show, you know, and uh, Martha did her plays, and 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 Jeannie was the DJ, and then we had a bassist, a contra bassist, a woman from Germany. That was really it was Edinburgh Festival. It was a big time festival. And it was just like a three week run. It was really, really good. Man, I wish we had one. We would have really developed that one. So, anyway, look, hey, Ma, enough about me. You know, maybe, you know, there's big things happening. Maybe when I come back, you know, maybe, I don't know, what's today? Today's Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. Yeah, maybe Thursday or Friday. I'll, I'll come back around. By that time, that the Democrat, the Democrat convention would be over, and we could talk politics. <laughs> I want to. No, no, okay, no, 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 I want you studying. No, 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 no. You're not gonna get out of this because you're a Trump man. So I need you to pay attention. I'm not paying attention. To tell you the truth. But I need you to pay attention. <laughs> pay attention to what they're doing with the Democrat. So you can tell me what this, what the, uh, what you know, what 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 you know, what, what you think is gonna ha gonna happen. Then I, and I'm, I'm not paying a lot of. I'm not. I tell you the truth. I'm not really paying attention, but. If I'm, if whatever comes across your head, like whatever comes across your head, then we'll talk about that maybe on Thursday or Friday, probably I did, Friday. I did look at it last night, yeah. I did look at it last night. Oh, I didn't see it. I, I don't have TV. They, 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 they started with the prayer, which I thought was, uh, oh, was nice. That. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a nice way to begin. And then, uh, and then they talked to people in various locations because, you know, it's not for the first time the uh, convention enough people coming together it's all uh, mm, 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 what do you call it it's it's remote yeah <laughs> remote. I think it's a virtual world it's a, a yeah, remote world, no exactly. remote I think remote is better yeah, <laughs> yeah, remote. and then uh, uh, they had actually I think um, Joe Biden was was talking to some people and uh, you can get a feel for um, what he what he's like and uh, it was interesting Oh, uh, so this uh, okay. Look, we, we, let's talk more on Friday when this whole thing is over. Because uh, to tell you the truth, this doesn't excite me too much. To, uh, to, I mean, I'm I'm being truthful. You know what I mean? I'm just really not paying too much attention to it. Sir, it's quite I got, all right. I, I got other things it's to quite do. All right. I, you know. I, uh, I, uh, I, as you know, I uh, I like Donald Trump, uh, but I think I can see he, he's a very. Uh, let me think of the word. He's uh, he. He is kind of um, a bullion in the way that he acts, and some sometimes he. Oh, look at that, Vaughn, with the big word! <laughs> wow, what is a a bullion? What's that? <laughs> that sounds really good. <laughs> Come on now, you I mean, use it. Tell me what it is. It means, uh, you know, he's uh, sort of. Uh, Overflowing. Oh, okay. Him. Overflowing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He a character. Okay. Yeah, he's a character. <laughs> Absolutely, he's a character, and uh, and and he's uh, he's not what people are used to. And ah. I think that some people are uh, put off by his his personality. Ah, we don't get that. Listen, listen, listen. We're, this week is this the, the, the isn't he coming up in a couple of weeks? I said, let, yeah. let, on Friday, let's talk about let's talk about let's talk about the Biden guy, right? And then we we we'll do we'll do the Donald, you know, right. in a couple of weeks. All, All right. right. All Thanks right. for the All right. <laughs> hey, I love it. I'm gonna stop. Okay. <laughs> you have a great day, man. All right. You too. You too. Yeah.